A big thanks to Napoleon Grills for sponsoring this episode. Hey, welcome to another episode. I'm Pit Master X and I'm gonna give you my secret brisket chili recipe. Before I'm gonna show you how to do this, you need to know that you can find this exact recipe written down on our website, pitmasterx.com. You can find it totally for free, so go there, go check it out. The most important part of this recipe is this. You gotta have this. If you don't have this, you gotta make it. And if you wanna know how to make it, go check it out. This is my Dorito brisket. And of course, you can use any type of brisket that you want. You can use a Texas style brisket. You can, like, it's about the brisket. It's about fat and beef. And that's gonna make this chili amazing. Now, if you don't have something like that, just buy a chuck roast. Cut it up, and we're gonna use that. But in my case, I'm using this beautiful leftover brisket. It's, it's like pure gold. And who hasn't has some spare brisket laying around when he cooks brisket that's around seven kilograms. If you're a true barbecue, you got some of this laying around. I know you have it, dig it up in the freezer. Let's open up this vacuum bag and take a closer look at this brisket. That's a lot of beef and it's a lot of fat, cold hard fat and a lot of flavor. You see this fat sitting on top right there? That's amazing stuff. And that's gonna make this chili even more amazing. Now what we need to do first is cut this up into little chunks. And once this is all cubed up, it's time to fire up our Napoleon grill. There are two things you need to remember about chili. One is the chili is only as good as its ingredients. And the second thing is, a chili should be easy. So I'm gonna put my pan on the fire. I'll let it get warm, and then we're gonna put the brisket in. <laughs> oh, I like a lot of brisket. And this definitely is a lot of brisket. I'm guessing this is around two kilograms. Now you can add a little less. And I'm thinking this pan cannot hold all of my brisket. <laughs> Our brisket's getting warmed up. The fat's rendering down, and you can see that it's start to falling apart. And look at that goodness at the bottom. This stuff that's sticking at the bottom is amazing. Now that our leftover brisket is warmed up, it's time to add two tablespoons of all-purpose flour. Add 200 grams of sliced onion, two cloves of garlic, a red paprika. And once that's all soft, it's time to add 700 grams of beans. And of course, some tomato pulp to finish it off. Top it off with some water, and then put the lid on and let it simmer for a half an hour. Chili is done, and it's like super easy, super fast to do, because basically you already made that beef. That beef's fully cooked, so it just falls apart and becomes this beautiful, amazing dish. Look at this, oh, steaming hot. And this will warm you throughout the winter. This is like a, when you've been out, you've been working, or you've been, I don't know, playing sports outdoors, all of that beautiful stuff, it's gonna feed you. And this bowl is gonna feed, I don't know, maybe like eight to 10 people. Of course, me and Morrison are hungry people. Well, I am, Morrison might not be, but I am. And of course, I wanna top it off. I wanna give it a little bit of extra. So I got some Dutch Gouda cheese that I'm gonna shred on top of it. If you are a regular to my channel, you know I made some jalapeno hot sauce homemade jalapeno hot sauce. And this stuff is absolutely amazing. And it thickened up a bit, so I'm gonna put on some of that jalapeno hot sauce. This is gonna make the chili spicy. Now for a little bit of color, I want some red onion on top of it. A little bit of fresh jalapeno on top of it. <laughs> Look at that. Now that is one good looking chili. All right, now the real skeptic people about chili. Let's see. 
and see if, if, if this can really convince me that chili isn't a thing to be scared of. Because my mama made chili and she put pineapple in it, man. Oh no. Yeah, no, seriously. Mamas, 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 mamas stop with the pineapple. There we go. Oh, oh that's so good. <laughs> wow. Brisket inside a chili. That's crazy. It's soul food. It's like, it's like, it's sexy, it's warming. It's like, can you imagine doing like a, you're skiing and you've been on that mountain all day and you're cold and hot at the same time, but you're super hungry. And then you get a bowl of chili like this. Oh, you're gonna be so happy. Mm, from the first bite, it immediately screams winter. Winter barbecue. Oh man, that's, it's like, it's the perfect stew. And the cheese on top is like creamy and salty, but the hot sauce makes it sharp. Like you have the whole chili, it's like if you don't like a hot chili, then you like getting the hot sauce on the side is absolutely perfect. Having a brisket in your fridge is sometimes an intimidating thing. I can talk about this because I have one laying in my fridge and I don't know what to do with it. But I think I, I have the answer right here. Um, yeah. The, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, it's right. crazy good. <laughs> no, but sometimes, like Dutch people, they don't like hot, so hot chilies. That's like a problem. And especially with the kids, like the dads, they got the kids and got the mamas. They don't like it hot. So you have your own hot sauce standing by and then you got an amazing chili. You got the, because the kids are gonna love the cheese melting on top of that chili. It's perfect, yeah. And I do get that for some people, the, the hot sauce might be a little bit too hot. Of course, it's jalapeno. It's, it's, not, it's not that hot. But it's not hot. For some people it is, and they don't like the texture, I don't know. Okay, I'm fine with it, but make the chili. Make that chili. Crazy rain is coming. It's Crazy like, rain. All of a sudden, the college is like winter in the Netherlands. Hope you guys enjoyed this video because we got to close off. Yeah, I did. We're going to be eating for a long time now. We're not going to be hungry and we hope you're not going to be hungry either. If you got an amazing chili recipe you want to share with us, share it in the comments. Hope to see you guys next time. Big thank to the patrons and the YouTube members. Until then, it's makkelijk. And keep on making your brisket chili. What rain? Rain, man.